Why play the piano? You will increase your skills by learning to use a keyboard. You will gain intellectual, emotional, physical, social, and personal benefits as a result of your activity. Each of these advantages will have a good and complex effect on you. Intellectual Benefits If you believe that only the most intelligent individuals should play the piano, and that you are not one of them, you are mistaken. In fact, learning to play the piano will make you smarter. Improve your memory by playing the piano. Would you wish to be able to remember things more easily? Piano lessons have been shown to improve working memory in older persons in studies. This is especially evident after only six months of study. Speed up your brain. Your nerves go through a process called myelination during childhood and adolescence. This means that your nerves create extra layers of protection. Signals travel faster via your nervous system thanks to these layers. This procedure has been linked by medical professionals to normal childhood and teenage development. However, a new study suggests that adult activities can speed up this process. This process has been linked to piano playing, as a result, playing the piano may improve your brain's ability to think. Improve your focus and concentration. Did you realize that while you play the piano, you are multitasking? At the same time, you're concentrating on rhythm and speed, pitch and volume, melody and harmony. You're also concentrating on finger positioning, body posture, and other things at the same time. Do you find it difficult to concentrate in school? Do you find it difficult to concentrate at work? Learning to play the piano will then assist you in overcoming these issues. Playing an instrument, after all, is one of the only activities that simultaneously stimulates all of your brain's areas. Decrease your stress and anxiety. Playing the piano reduces stress. A remarkable article was released in 2013 by the National Library of Medicine. It was discovered that playing the piano reduces stress. It also helps elderly people feel less depressed. What is the mechanism behind this? It uses repeating sounds to engage your neocortex and help you overcome bad feelings. This impact relaxes you and lessens your desire to act impulsively. It also teaches you how to listen to beneficial new music. People who are depressed tend to tune their music to their mood. However, learning to play the piano broadens your musical possibilities. It encourages you to listen to music that is uplifting and productive. This disrupts the loop of dark and depressive feelings you've been in. Improve your eye-hand coordination. To play the piano, you don't need to be ambidextrous, rather, practicing will help you acquire ambidexterity. When you're playing, your brain has to tell each hand to do something different. Your right and left hands will play separate notes at the same time, traveling in opposite directions and following different rhythms. The rewards of improving this skill extend beyond the keyboard. Improved reaction times and agility are among the advantages. Your typing abilities may improve as a result of your keyboard skills, making you more efficient at work if typing is part of your job. I have some fantastic news for you, learning to play the piano has never been faster and easier. We live in an era where online learning and crowdsourced information are widely available where you can easily shop for pianos on the internet and where chord notation is just a Google search away. Sadly, with all of these amazing advancements, many individuals are still intimidated by the piano. Many of these lovely instruments end up in dumpsters and landfills because their previous owners are unable to utilize them. And far too many people waste a lot of time and money on traditional classes only to stay beginners for the rest of their lives. How so? Because the entire subject of learning piano, even piano for beginners, is shrouded in misconceptions and exclusivity. 
So let's clarify some prevalent misconceptions about piano beginners and learning piano. You know what I'm talking about when I say. Only naturally gifted people can play the piano with ease. Beginners on the piano must practice for years before they may become proficient. The most important skill for piano beginners to learn is reading sheet music. I want you to know that these stereotypes have been debunked by many professional performers, skilled amateurs, and a wide range of people in between. I'm not even the first person to realize that playing actual songs and enjoying them doesn't have to be a complicated procedure. And I won't be the last to do so. I used to take my favorite song's chords and twist them around when I was initially learning them. I'd study the chords and then reverse them. That sounds to me like the polar opposite of regulated, boring piano lessons. Myth number one, only natural musicians are capable of playing the piano. The trick, like it was for me and for so many other people who enjoy piano with ease, was to find an approach that made sense for me. There's no such thing as inherent talent, perfect pitch, or a mystical musical ability. This is excellent news since it implies that you don't need any specific skills to enjoy playing the piano. Piano for beginners can be straightforward and quick to master, based on what I've seen with my students. Myth number two, it takes years for beginners to learn piano. It is realistic to make any significant progress in such a short time. I've witnessed firsthand how easy it is to learn to play actual music on the piano in a short time. It would be ridiculous of me to name this easy piano learning course piano for all if it wasn't achievable. Piano for all method works so well, it will help you develop a foundation of practical, simplified information so you can concentrate on playing songs you enjoy. You can reach this point in as little as three weeks with constant practice and self-motivation. Myth number three, if you can't read sheet music, you won't be able to play the piano. No, you don't have to. To avoid being annoying, I'll say it again, you don't need to learn to read sheet music before playing the piano. Sight reading isn't necessary unless you wish to travel the world as a professional piano player. If you want to be able to sit down at any keyboard and feel comfortable playing songs of your choice, piano for all method is the way to go. And believe me when I say that this is a lot easier than reading music on a sheet. Beginner piano can and should be fun. Is it necessary for me to memorize a certain number of notes? It can be frightening to look at a full keyboard with 88 keys. Is it really necessary to memorize them all? Yes, technically. You'll need to know all of the keys since you'll need to know what they represent. But focusing on it isn't nearly as beneficial as what I'm about to say. Here's the deal, those 88 keys are essentially just repeating sets of the same 12 notes. The pitch will differ, lower on the left, higher on the right, but that will be the only variation. So all you really need to know about the 12 note sequence is what each set of 12 keys represents. If that's still too much for you, think this way. Are you familiar with the months of the year? You can recall far more than 12 people's names. When you realize you already have this ability, learning 12 notes isn't that difficult. What are the black key's main aspects? A cool feature of piano keyboards is the black keys, which many novices find puzzling. Many people are terrified of playing the black keys for whatever reason. But they're just in a different order and color to make things easier for you. Consider how confusing and difficult it would be to navigate your piano if it only had one long row of white keys. Everything would have the same appearance. Those dark keys aren't to be feared, they help orient yourself, and their positioning makes it simpler to reach more notes. Once you've mastered some basic music theory, 
I promise you won't have any trouble understanding or learning this. What are the different types of piano chords? Okay, so far we've covered notes and keys on your piano. If you don't want to plunk out tunes one note at a time, you'll need to understand more about piano chords and what they are. Piano for All method focuses on teaching how to play chords, which are groups of notes that sound nice together and bring depth to your playing. Three notes make up the majority of chords. Most traditional piano teachers teach you how to play them by reading the sheet music, figuring out the notes within each chord as they emerge, and playing them in either your left or right hand, depending on whether they are in the treble or bass clef. I'm pleased to inform you that the way piano for all method teaches chords is far more straightforward. Piano for all method use easy formulas to make things quick and easy. You don't have to recall specific chords or try to understand sheet music in this manner. What is the best age to start learning the piano? I strongly advise parents of children under the age of 8 not to enroll their children in basic piano lessons. Their hands are too small. But aside from that, I don't see why there should be an age limit on learning to play the piano. What is the easiest piano song to learn? Have you ever wondered what the easiest piano tune is to learn? Songs that you already know, since it is often simpler to play the music that you have heard previously. That is why I believe that practicing popular music is so beneficial. Take a look at these suggestions. Let it be the Beatles. No Woman, No Cry Bob Marley. Easy, Faith No More. Knocking on Heaven's Door Guns and Roses, and many more. All of these songs meet the easily playable criteria. Using Piano for All method, you can learn to play these songs as well as many more. Which piano is ideal for beginners? Should beginners learn piano on an acoustic piano? Is it possible to learn on a digital keyboard and digital pianos? The answer is yes. You should buy what you can afford and see fit. After all, having something to practice on with at least 49 keys and a sustained pedal is the most important thing.